What's going on folks? Today's review will be the 1997 Fox series, and that is, King of the Hill. The show was created by Mike Judge, who was known for creating Beavis and Butthead. King of the Hill was originally aired on Fox, Comedy Central, FX, currently airing on Adult Swim, an adult programming block on Cartoon Network, FXX, and currently streaming on Amazon Prime Video. Hulu and Disney Plus. The series is set in Ireland, Texas, where propane Salem and Hank Hill lives with his substitute Spanish teacher wife Peggy, his somewhat problematic yet well-meaning son Bobby, his loyal bloodhound Ladybird, and his kind-hearted yet ditzy niece Luan Platter. Their neighbors include exterminator, conspiracy theorist Dale Gribble, his weather girl wife Nancy, and their notably odd son Joseph, military barber Bill Dodorov the hard-to-understand Jeff Boomer, and their snobbish Laotian neighbors Khan Sufinis and Fon, his wife Min, and their kind daughter Connie. More of Arlen's residents include Hank's father Khan and his stepmother who's exactly his age D.D., Native American healer John Redcorn, Hank's crooked boss and owner of Strickland Propane, Buck Strickland, and many more. They encounter lots of wacky adventures and situations which include camping trips and other outings gone awry, making out with plastic heads, a crazy evangelical trying to outlaw Halloween, using crack as fishing bait, disasters such as tornadoes, floods, and fires, hiring a junkie, many Christmas antics, escaping a bunch of party crazy teens, wild raccoons and a rabies scare, Y2K, a scandalous murder mystery, puberty, mooning governors, pimps and hoes, terrorized testicles, renaissance fairs and gay rodeos, stealing a military tank, disastrous road trips and crazy vacations, dealing with hippies, lawn gnomes, and each other. The characters are all mostly very lovable, memorable, and relatable. The animation is excellent for what it is. It has a catchy theme song by the refreshments. The voice acting is very good. It successfully portrays American conservatism and right-wing politics in a satirical way, while also embracing it. Plenty of amazing episodes such as Escape from Party Island, Living on Reds, Vitamin C, and Propane, and Returning Japanese. The humor is absolutely top-notch. It has its fair share of dramatic moments. Depending on the episode, it teaches very good morals. Peggy and Nancy got pretty unlikable in later seasons. Like all TV shows, it has its fair share of bad episodes such as The Pet Riot Act, Bad News Bill, and Get Your Freak Off. Even though they have a handful of good episodes, seasons 10 and 11 were pretty weak. And what is my verdict on this Fox animated series? 9 out of 10. This show is an absolute must watch. Now it's time to whip out the propane grill and cook up some nice Texas barbecue.